Today is May 25th, 2019, and I'm here to do our Twin Flame Extended Reading. So let's begin. If you're wearing headphones, please turn down the volume. Okay, so in this particular reading, I will cover the energies of the Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine, and um, we're going to see um, what is their current energy, okay, for both counterparts, what is currently going on in your 3D life, what are you guys feeling towards each other, and uh, what are they going to do towards the connection, okay, for both counterparts. In the extended, okay, I will cover what the blocks are, what is the future potential outcome, and what actions that each counterpart should take so that you both can come into union, all right? So let's go ahead and begin. First, I'll start off with the Energy Oracle deck and pull one energy for the Divine Masculine and one for the Divine Feminine. So what is the current energy of the Divine Masculine? energy for divine masculine we have walking away okay so what I'm getting with this is that divine masculine is currently walking away from a situation that they're currently in and they're they're closing that cycle guys i feel like you know if your divine masculine was in a karmic a situation i feel like they're finally closing out those chapters and they're almost at a completion of that cycle so this is really good energy coming from divine masculines right for divine feminines okay we have angel of love And what I'm getting with this is that Divine Feminines is holding space in their heart for their Divine Masculines and they are ready to offer this love. I feel like, you know, Divine Feminines is really understanding of the Divine Masculines and what they're currently going through and they are feeling very patient, okay? I feel like Divine Feminines are practicing uh, compassion also and, you know, just waiting for their Divine Masculines to come towards them. I feel that energetically Divine Masculines is putting closure to those old cycles so that they can move forward towards their Divine Feminine and that's a beautiful energy. Oh my goodness. Okay. So now I would like to pull a couple of messages from the Heal Yourself Reading Cards deck and see what we can find out about the energies of Divine Masculines walking away from a situation and Divine Feminines <clears throat> holding space for their Divine Counterpart. What additional messages Spirit wants to come through for the Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine, please? For Divine Masculines, we have here family and tribe, okay? 
this has been <clears throat> pretty consistent uh, with the Divine Masculine Collective for the, for the past week from what I see. And what I'm getting here is that Divine Masculines is walking away from people, places, friends, as circumstances and situations that they have considered family in the past and who their, their uh, tribe was. And they are walking towards you know, a new path. They are finally trying to find who their real family is and who is their soul tribe is what I'm feeling. And this is really good energy. I really feel like, you know, Divine Masculines is ready to move forward with their Divine Feminine and possibly make a family uh, with their Divine Counterpart is what I'm seeing. Okay, and for Divine Feminines, we have home. Oh my goodness, guys. This is such a beautiful energy. <clears throat> Divine Feminines is really, you know, just waiting for their Divine Masculines to come home towards them. You know, your Divine Masculine is looking for their family and tribe. And Divine Feminines, okay, is looking for their home. And this is beautiful. Oh my goodness. I almost kind of want to feel like, you know, Divine Masculines is really making a decision, you know. They want to get out of this uh, energy of duality. And I really see that they're finally taking those steps and moving forward to find their home or their sanctuary, you know, with their Divine Feminine. And, you know, Divine Feminines, I really see that you are holding a letter. It looks like a letter and a green amulet, okay, which I feel like holds your love. I'm not sure if you can really see this, um, but I feel like you're waiting for your Divine Masculine. And I see that, you know, there is wallpaper on this wall. And it looks like it's tearing off the wall. And I feel that Divine Feminines have been waiting very patiently for their Divine Masculines to return back to them, is what I'm seeing. In a sense, I really feel like, you know, Divine Feminines have been holding space for their Divine Masculines. But at the same time, you know, Divine Feminines are feeling a little impatient, you know, because they have been waiting for such a long time, you know, for the return of their Divine Masculine is what I'm feeling. So, you know, these are some really good energies that want to come through for the collective, all right? So, let's find out, okay? What is currently going on with your Divine Masculine in the 3D, okay? Now, <laughs> my neighbors are being loud, guys. I swear, I can't get away from noise to save me. I feel, I think they're moving. So, <laughs> very loud. All right, so. What is currently going on with the Divine Masculines in a 3D space? What is going on with the Divine Masculines in their 3D space? <clears throat> we have poverty. Okay. What else? What is going on with the Divine Masculines in the 3D? We have distant horizons. Oh, and we have despair. Okay. So what I'm getting here is that you know, divine masculines, they're not feeling very good right now. <clears throat> I feel like you know, as they are walking away from their their current family or tribe of people who they have associated with. I feel like, you know, they don't feel very good, guys. 
I see here number 37, which equals 11. You know, what I'm getting with this is that <clears throat> they feel lack without their divine feminine is what I'm seeing. And, you know, with the current situation that they're in, you know, if they're walking away from a karmic situation, they feel like they've lost everything, everything that they have worked for. And I feel like, you know, Divine Masculines are in that energy of starting all over. And I see here the number 36, okay, and that equals a 9. So again, I feel like they're almost at a completion of, uh, you know, the energies that they're currently going through in their physical life. They are looking forward towards the future, and and I see that they're looking for something that is more grounded and more solid. And I really feel like the My Masculines is feeling really hopeful uh, in their their future, is what I'm getting because everything that is going on in their current life, their present uh, circumstance is no longer vibrating with them and they are looking you know for their family and their soul tribe guys and i feel like divine masculines is walking away from karmic situations to move forward towards the connection with their divine feminine is what i'm seeing and here we have despair okay and this is a number 32 which equals a five so there's a lot of change that's going on also with the Divine Masculines. They are not feeling really good, guys. And, you know, some of your Divine Masculines are probably, like, in the process of lo losing their job. Okay, possibly looking for work is what I'm seeing. And, you know, they also feel despair because whoever that they considered as their friends or family you know, who were supposedly loyal to them, or not, okay, they're, they're, uh, I feel like they're separated from themselves, and I feel like your Divine Masculine is feeling alone, while, you know, the, the family and friends that they have considered, you know, as their tribe in the past, they, they're oblivious to your Divine Masculine is what I'm, I'm seeing here, and, I really feel like they are really missing their Divine Feminine and they know that they have left their Divine Feminine out in the cold and they're the ones that were loyal to to their Divine Masculine and you know they're at a loss guys I mean they they, they know and they understand that whatever that they have chosen okay in the past as their family and tribe no longer you know resonates with them and they they feel really bad about leaving their connection with their divine feminine because you know their divine feminine feels like home to them you know their current family and tribe okay is not okay that is a thing of their past and they're finally walking away from their karmic situations is what I'm getting and this could be family tribe and a job is what I'm, I'm seeing here okay guys now what is currently going on in the 3d space of the divine feminine what is going on in the divine feminine's life at this time We have concern and thief. Okay, one more, please, spirit. What is currently going on in the divine feminine's three D life? What is currently going on in the divine feminine's three D life? We have message. Okay. So this is what I'm getting for Divine Feminines, all right? <clears throat> what I'm getting here is that Divine Feminines are really feeling concerned and um, they are not sure about whether or not 
to hold on to this connection. That is why I feel like, you know, Divine Feminines is practicing this angel love. They are holding space for their Divine Masculines. And in some cases, Divine Feminines are not sure about where the Divine Masculines stand. Because I feel like, you know, <clears throat> with this collective, you know, there's very little communication that is going on between um, this Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine is what I'm getting. And, you know, they feel like, you know, something is missing, okay? And it is like their home, their home life. You know, as you can see, this Divine Feminine is sitting at home all alone, okay? They, um... They lack, you know, stability, okay, is what I'm feeling, you know. I feel like they feel incomplete, you know. And I feel like Divine Feminines have waited, you know, a really long time for their Divine Masculines to either reach out and communicate with them. And the only thing that they have is like a piece of paper or a letter um, or maybe some text messages that, you know, that was communicated to them in the past. And I feel like Divine Feminines are feeling empty. And I also see here the number 33, which equals the 6. I feel like Divine Feminines want to leave the past behind so that they can find peace within themselves, you know, because I really see that they're really not sure what to do you know, in their current circumstances when I'm feeling. And here we also have thief, okay? You know, Divine Feminines feel like, you know, everything was taken from them. No matter how much they were giving towards the Divine Masculines and their uh, circumstance or situation, it just seems like, you know, the karmics always have, you know, taken presence you know, um, in their uh, Divine Masculine's life is what I'm feeling. And they're just tired. They're just tired of holding on to connection and tired of holding on to something where they haven't, uh, you know, received a return. Because, you know, I see here also, you know, number 24, which equals a six. So this is another six, guys. You know, Divine Feminines is reminiscing of the past of, you know, you know, how their Divine Masculines have left the situation is what I'm getting. And, you know, I really feel like Divine Feminines is really, you know, even though that they're holding space for their Divine Masculines, I really feel like for Divine Feminines, they feel like it's really unfair you know, that they have been virtuous, they have been, you know, very kind, they have been very caring in this connection, and as they were waiting for their Divine Masculines this whole time, they haven't received anything, not even, you know, a simple gesture of love, not even, you know, a reciprocation of all the energies that they have put into this connection with their Divine Masculine is what I'm feeling and all they want is a message, okay? That is what I'm seeing. This is the same letter that I'm seeing that this Divine Feminine is holding, okay? I feel like Divine Feminines is like, you know, rehashing all of the, the communication that has been happening in the past and I feel like, you know, they're still holding on, you know, to to whatever has happened, okay? Still thinking about whether or not they should hold on to this connection. And the only thing that would make, you know, this connection work with the Divine Feminines is communication, okay? That is all they want. I feel like, you know, Divine Feminines are really confused you know, at this point in, in their physical life as to, like, what to do. Because, honestly, I feel like Divine Feminines is, you know, 
they're almost at the brinking point of letting go, okay, and walking away from the connection, but they still hold space, you know, for their divine, fa um, divine masculines in their heart is what I'm feeling, okay, guys? So, how is the divine masculines currently feeling, okay, for you? So, let me go ahead and pull the angel. Romance Angels. Oops. <laughs> and the first card that pops out is True Love. Okay. I'm not going to take it, but if it comes out, then, then it was meant to be. How is the Divine Masculines currently feeling? Okay. <clears throat> How are they feeling towards the Divine Feminine at this time? How's the Divine Masculine currently feeling towards their Divine Feminine at this time? How's the Divine Masculine currently feeling towards their Divine Feminine at this time? How are they feeling? We have unrequited love, okay? There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. You know, what I'm getting with this is that divine masculines know that they have not truly put enough affection, you know, uh, attention and love towards the connection with their divine feminine because they have chosen their karmic situation, okay, is what I'm feeling. And they now understand that, you know, they have left their divine feminines out in the cold, is what I'm feeling, you know. But I really feel like, you know, divine masculines is walking away from their karmic situations. They know that they did not give their Divine Feminines a chance, okay, is what I'm seeing. Point out Spirit. How is Divine Masculines currently feeling about their Divine Feminine? How are they feeling about their Divine Feminine? <laughs> we have a Release Your Ex, okay? The time has come to clear your energy. What did I say? Your Divine Masculine, okay, is walking away from a karmic situation, okay? They're trying to let go of their past because they have invested into this family and tribe that is no longer resonating with them. Potentially, they have gone back to their karmic partners or they're with their karmic partners, okay? And they tried to make it work. They thought that, you know, their uh, karmics, you know, were the ones that they were supposed to be with is what I'm feeling. And as they chose their karmic situation, they realized that nothing compares to the love and energy that their divine feminine gives to to them is what I'm feeling, guys. That is why, you know, they're feeling poor. They're looking forward towards the future at this time. And they are in despair. They have lost so much by choosing the karmic situation. And that is what I'm feeling. And they... They're feeling really bad about their decisions, guys, is what I'm feeling, okay? You know, your Divine Masculine knows that they have to release, you know, an ex-partner or a situation that they're involved in, okay? So it doesn't have to be a person, 
Um, it could be a job. It could be, you know, something that they invested their time into, okay? But, you know, what I'm seeing here is that it's definitely someone that they were with on a physical level, okay? It could be friends. It could be family. It could be, you know, side pieces. It could be whatever. They, they potentially chose someone else over their Divine Feminine. And now... They're coming to realize that they need to release their past, okay, in order to move forward towards their Divine Feminine. They know that they did not choose their Divine Feminine in the past, and that is why they're in despair, guys. They know that they lost something genuine, okay? Some someone who truly loved them, not for like what they brought to the table, but who, for who they were as a person okay that is what i'm seeing all right so <sighs> divine feminines okay you okay are thinking of your divine masculine okay for the long term you want to be married okay you want to marry your divine masculine okay this situation involves marriage you know you are thinking about when is your divine masculine going to put in the effort to have a commitment with you okay that is why i'm feeling you know that's why you know divine feminines are really concerned about this partnership they are just waiting on a sign waiting on a message waiting you know for for anything you know communication more or less, you know, uh, with their Divine Masculine, you know, in this depiction, there is a phone, there is a letter, you know, and, you know, there's a pen, and, you know, your Divine, um, Divine Feminines, okay, are waiting for Divine Masculines to reach out, and they're really confused, they really don't know if, if they should keep waiting, is what I'm feeling, okay, you know, they felt like, They've tried so much in this connection, you know, and they were thinking of their Divine Masculines for the long term. And they're, it's like they're not getting anything. And Divine Masculines know that, you know, they didn't give that love towards their Divine Feminine. And that's who they should have, you know, invested their time, focus, and attention towards. You know, Divine Masculines are feeling this right now, okay? How is the Divine Feminine currently feeling <clears throat> about their Divine Masculines? How are they feeling towards their Divine Masculine? How are they feeling towards their Divine Masculine? We have trust. Okay, the situation is calling you to have faith, you know, and this is very true, you know, divine feminines have been holding space for their divine masculine, okay, they are an angel of love, and they are patiently waiting for their divine masculines to return, you know, and I feel like to return back to home, to where they belong, you know, divine feminines are feeling empty at this time. And as you can see, Divine Feminines have not been, you know, associating themselves with anyone else. They have been holding space for their Divine Masculines, whereas Divine Masculines, okay, were stuck in, you know, uh, their family, their friends, you know, um, all these people that they have chosen to be with instead of their Divine Feminine who is at home all alone, you know, I mean, Divine Feminines, you know, you know, I feel like Divine Feminines have learned, okay, to persevere, okay, to have faith and trust in this connection. Why? Because Divine Feminines, okay, are spiritual, okay, they have been on this spiritual journey for a very long time, a long time, patiently waiting for their divine masculines 
to become awakened to this connection is what I'm feeling, okay? And they are learning to trust and themselves and the divine that they will, okay, be reunited with their divine masculine, okay? That is what I'm seeing. But at the same time, divine feminines, you know, you are kind of concerned. I feel like, you know, you're almost at a crossroads is what I'm feeling because you're just waiting for a message from your divine masculines. But I see that divine masculines, you know, they're on their, they're on their way, okay, towards your divine feminines. And the divine feminines, I feel like they're not seeing this. Okay, I feel like Divine Masculines are planning to return back to their Divine Feminines, okay? And that is what I'm seeing, okay? So, if this reading is resonating with you, um, you can join me on the flip side. I will provide the link uh, below uh, for you to purchase the extended. Uh, the extended would be $3.99. And in the extended version, okay, I'll be going over like what um, are you and your divine counterpart going to do towards the connection, okay? I'm going to cover what the blocks are and what is the future potential outcome, you know, of this uh, current energy, okay? And uh, what are the actions that you should take to come into union, all right? So I really hope you enjoyed uh, this reading and uh, let me know what you think, all right? I will see you on the flip side. All right.